Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. So I have a new wig and it's definitely like a really, really cute spring style wig. Her name is Jada. And it is heat protectant up to 400 degrees. So that means that you can curl it, you can straighten it, you can blow dry it, you can do all kinds of stuff to it. And so this is one of those kind of like Dominican blowout styles. It's straight, but it does have like a kinky natural texture to it. I love the color. I love the fact that it's two-toned. This color that I got it in is called DR30. So the top of it is black. I want to say probably about one or two inches and they kind of fade out different parts of it. And then it turns into a number 30, which is a light brown color. So this is the top of it. You see how it's kind of fading into the brown. So it's not like a really harsh two-toned it fades really nicely in different areas so it looks really natural like something that could have been done at a salon so Diva Trust sent this wig to me to share with you guys and for those of you who don't know what Diva Trust is, they're an online wig store. So they sell all kinds of different wigs and you can find all kinds of different hairstyles, different hair colors that suit you. So Miss Jada came perfect for the summer because this is definitely a cute summer style. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put the wig on, how I got the parting, and then I'll give you the pros and cons of the wig. So this is what the construction of the cap looks like. There's a comb here on the side. So there's usually a comb at the top, but on this wig, it's on the side by the ear, which I thought was kind of interesting placement. And then the other combs on the same side. There is no comb at the top. So for a lot of reasons, I think that could end up working out because sometimes the combs up here do snag the top of your hairline. So um, if you kind of get the baby hairs, or whatever's on the side, and then there is one comb at the bottom. And we also have two adjustable hooks. And this is just for you to tighten up the wig if it's a little bit too big for your head. Just so you know, the cap is a breathable cap. So on the inside of the wig, there's these holes. That's why you can see uh, my finger through it. And this is for the air just to be able to get through your scalp when the um, wig is on your head. So that way there's some ventilation. And as you can see here at the top, this is the lace stretches down so for this wig you're not really getting very much parting space it's really only what comes with the wig this little strip right here as a part you can't do anything that's um curved or but you can turn it to the side you can turn the whole wig to the side but i think this is a wig that you would just wear straight all right so i put my wig cap on even though as you can see it's kind of like crooked it should just be going straight like this so don't mind it if it's not sitting perfect but i have the wig cap on and stick it right there I don't even need to use the um, clips on here to secure it. It actually fits really snug. I'm just going to line it up. Like I said, this is my fault for making the part like that. Alright, this is what the wig looks like just plopping it on my head. I am seeing a little bit of shedding, just a little bit. So let's take a look at the part. Because I do have baby hair on my head, it does show. But for those of you who don't, um, nothing will be in this little area right here. And I think that the parting that they naturally have on the wig isn't too bad. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily look like a real part, but I feel like you could actually pull it off if you put some concealer and maybe even if you plucked it a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna pluck it, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer and maybe I'll just kind of pluck this section right here to kind of lead in better and I'll see if it makes a difference. Okay, I'm gonna add the concealer, pluck it a little bit, and then come back. All right, so I went ahead and put some concealer in the part, and I opened it up just a bit up here at the top. I wanted to see if it could open up, and it can. The lace is very resistant still, so it's not like a super soft lace that you have to be really careful with, but I only opened up this part. I didn't do the whole line, but you can see how far that part goes. And then I added a little bit of brown concealer but you can still see the line. It doesn't blend perfectly, but if you're far away enough, you really cannot tell, it's undetectable. So what are my thoughts on Miss Jada? I think that this is a really nice standard sleek wig. I love that it comes in a ton of different colors. I do like the length, I think it's a really good length. It's not too long and it's not too short. It definitely is full. 
it's a full bodied wig which I like because it's not super thin you can't see through it and at the same time I love the texture I love the fact that it has a very yucky ish kind of blown out texture and that's what makes me really like the style my only complaint about this wig is the fact that it does shed and I don't think it's from when I cut the lace because I believe that this wig does not have lace in the front you don't have to cut anything in the front so I do think the shedding is just shedding so that's not cool um, but sometimes with certain wigs different colors shed I noticed that like with some wigs the lighter colors shed and maybe it's because they're processed differently I don't know but that would be my only complaint other than that I think it's a really pretty style I think it's something that you can definitely wear anywhere and it can really spice up a dull looking outfit I do think that on the darker skin tones these kinds of golden browns these 30s end up looking really really nice it really does complement the dark skin and the fact that it does have the black at the top and kind of fades into the golden brown I think that's what makes it look a lot more realistic and a lot less kind of like in your face for those of you guys who are not really used to color I think that having it kind of blend down like this makes all the difference so you guys should definitely go and check out divatress.com they have so many different styles there's something for everyone on there and they have a coupon code that they gave me to share with you guys and it's in the info box below and you will be able to take a percentage off of your purchase if you guys have any questions please let me know but if you don't big kisses to you all i hope you guys are all doing wonderful and i will see you guys in the next video peace love and light